What is the role of nature in balancing the components of the atmosphere? The process by which chemical substances are transferred from soil, water, air, that is from the nutrient pool to living beings and back to the nutrient pool is called the biogeochemical cycle. These biogeochemical cycles help balance the composition of gases in the air. Some of the important cycles in nature are the carbon cycle, the water cycle and the nitrogen cycle. It is important that the percentage composition of the various components of the atmosphere should remain constant. For example, the nitrogen that is being used up by plants for making proteins must return to the atmosphere in some way. If it does not happen, then the proportion of nitrogen in the air will go on decreasing. Eventually, there will be no nitrogen left in the air and living organisms will not be able to survive. Similarly, if all the oxygen or carbon dioxide were to be used up and not returned to the air, then all life would come to an end and planet Earth would become a dead planet. Therefore, there are cycles in nature that help maintain the definite amount and delicate balance among the various components of the air. The first one is the oxygen-carbon dioxide balance. Green plants use the carbon dioxide present in air to prepare food by the process of photosynthesis. As a result of photosynthesis, oxygen is given off which is used in the process of respiration. Respiration is a process that occurs in all living organisms and uses up the oxygen of the air. As a result of the chemical reactions that take place between oxygen and the food within the body of the organism, carbon dioxide, water vapor and energy are formed. The energy is used by the organism to carry out its bodily functions. The carbon dioxide and water vapor are given off into the surroundings. The next cycle is the water cycle. The circulation of water from the surface of the earth to the atmosphere and back to the earth is called the water cycle. Nearly three quarters of the earth's surface is covered with water. During the day, the sun heats up the earth's surface. As a result, water from large water surfaces like lakes, rivers and oceans evaporates as water vapor. Plants absorb water from the soil. The excess water is given off from the aerial parts of the plant in the form of water vapor during transpiration. Transpiration takes place mostly during the day. Animals take in water as part of food for drinking. They lose some of this water in the form of urine. Some animals also lose water in the form of sweat. Water from urine and sweat vaporizes into the air. The water vapor coming from different sources on reaching the cooler parts of the atmosphere condenses and forms clouds. The water droplets that make up the clouds fall to the earth's surface as rain and snow. Water from the soil, plants and water surfaces evaporates due to the heat of the sun. The water vapor on reaching the cool upper surfaces of the atmosphere condenses and returns to the earth as rain and snow. This circulation of water from the earth's surface to the atmosphere and back to the earth is called the water cycle. The last cycle is the nitrogen cycle. Plants need nitrogen for making proteins. However, most plants cannot directly absorb the nitrogen from the air. Therefore, the nitrogen has to be fixed. That is, it has to be converted into soluble compounds of nitrogen that can enter the soil and then can be absorbed by the plants. Nitrates and nitrites are some soluble compounds of nitrogen. When humans and animals eat plants, the nitrogen in the form of proteins reaches the body of animals. When plants and animals die, certain microorganisms like bacteria present in the soil break up the proteins into simple compounds of nitrogen as well as into free nitrogen. The compounds of nitrogen are reused by plants for their growth while nitrogen gas is returned to the atmosphere. The process of converting nitrogen of the air into useful compounds and the decomposing of these compounds back into the gaseous nitrogen is called the nitrogen cycle.